hello hello scorpio welcome back to divine destiny guide i have another reading here for us scorpio i hope you're doing well if this is your first time i hope this message will resonate with you and you will become a part of the tribe here please hit the bell beside the subscribe button so that you won't miss any of the videos that are uploaded and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so very much thank you thank you thank you for your subscription thank you for your likes thank you for your shares i am truly and forever grateful to you scorpio uh, so scorpio while i was pre-shuffling i see a lot of you are saying goodbye to the past you are closing doors I see the world completion things that are fated to happen I also saw you know obstacle and we're not focusing again on those petty people the enemies because they have their job and we have ours right so as you begin to close out this year and saying goodbye to the past you will you will get some pushback or resistance from people who are thinking who do you think you are who do you think you are to think you can just let go and and move on and create this new life for yourself and you know again it's just for you to use wisdom because if people love you they will release you people who feel like they have to control you to keep you down to create conflict and drama in your life they don't really love you or love us so please keep that in mind okay now the first card that popped out was ace of pentacles again this is a new beginning this is a fresh start this is a creative idea a lot of you scorpio your focus on your security financially and your stability your abundance and i see here as i was saying as you say goodbye to the past however whatever that means maybe the people in your life you're letting go maybe you're going back to school you know to get a new career or to get some certifications maybe some of you are letting go of that position where you know you were there all along because you feel safe but you realize look when i go to the supermarket every week or whenever the prices are going up and my pay is the same I can barely pay my bills. I'm living from hand to mouth. I'm struggling. And so, Spirit is saying, now you have the strength. You have the strength to do this. You have the strength to move forward now, Scorpio. Now you feel courageous. Now you tame the fear now you know who you are you know whose you are you're a child of the divine abundance is your birthright and this is why now spirit gave you this brand new start this creative idea some of you will now be brave enough to start that channel some of you are going to be brave enough to open that business some of you are going to feel courageous, as I said, to leave that job that is no longer providing the stability, the security. Yes, it was, you know, it felt safe, but in your wallet, guys, in, in your purses, ladies, you don't feel that safety, right? So you have the power now to step out. Again, the Empress you know now that you're abundant you know now that in the past you are the only one who you were the one holding yourself back a lot yes you had the seven of wands you had to stand up for your right and like i said with everything that we're doing in life we're gonna have some pushbacks you're gonna have some pushback scorpio 
But the divine is saying, keep focus. I am for you. And if I am for you, who can be against you, right? I give you everything you need. It is inside of you. You get all your downloads from the divine. You're very abundant. Some of you are mothers. Some of you, congratulations if you just gave birth. But, you know, you, you have everything inside of you. So this is why now you're stepping out so boldly. And yes, obstacles and people will come up against you because now you're, you're stepping in your power and people don't like that. But you, I see you're standing your ground. You're not, oh wow, you're standing your ground. Ten of Cups, you want your emotional fulfillment. This is us, Cups. You know you deserve the richness, the blessings, the love, the home, the family. Like I said, the stability. You know, and I hear somebody says, you know, it's like money is not, you know, um, there is something about money. You know, like the love of money, yes, is the root of all evil. But, you know, at the same time, you know, money is right up there with like next to oxygen, right? Because it's very important. Even the Bible says it, money answer it to all things. Money answer it to all things. And, and that is the truth. That's the truth. Money answer it to all things. You can't go in the store without money. You go to the doctor, they need their co-payment. Everything we do, we need money. And so for a lot of you, you're just focused on your stability. And at the back of the deck is the sun. The sun. Your abundance, your riches, your blessings. And this is what you know is your birth right now. And so now you're no longer holding back. You're no longer holding back, Scorpio, because you know that this is your birthright. We need the sun. Nourishing, enriching, oh, abundant, blessed. This is like the best card in the deck, being fruitful. And the queen of cups at the back of the deck. You are loving, you're very intuitive. So yes, you already know that these people are going to come up against you and you're already prepared. You're still going to handle them with grace because we know now that, you know, we, we are not going to stoop to anybody's level. So if you have to leave that job, you're going to put in your two weeks resignation, right? You're going to do things in a professional way. In a loving way. We're going to release people in a loving way. You know, they just won't hear from us anymore. Okay? They don't have to hear, oh my goodness, the ace of sword. This is the truth. This is the truth. You know, we, we're not going to fight with anybody anymore. You know, they just won't hear from us anymore. We will just let our actions speak more than our words. Wow. Wow. The king of swords, yes, our actions are going to speak for itself. We're not going to let anybody mess with our abundance anymore, Scorpio. We're taking our power back. The king of swords and the sun. You know, you, 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 you're thinking clearly. You know, it's a head over heart. You're cutting to the truth. Now everything is open to you. You know, now you know exactly what it is you need to do. You're very strategic in your plans. Wow. And at the back of the deck is the tower. So something suddenly is like you are enlightened. Now the scale fell off of your eyes. Scorpio Spirit wants me to take this. The scale fell from your eyes. And or, you know, something had to happen drastically in your life. For you to see people who you are. For you to see your life. The position that you've been waiting for. They keep passing you over. Giving it to somebody else. 
You're not satisfied in your job. And so spirit had to pull the rug from underneath you. Somebody had to hurt you for you to say, uh-uh, no way. I'm not, I'm not going to deal with it. I'm not staying here anymore. I know what I deserve. I deserve better. And so the tower comes in. So sometimes it's not the enemy who brings in the tower. The divine will bring a tower in because he loves us so much and he takes care of his own that he's willing to do some swift movement to get those people out of your life so that you can stay focused. Because at the back of the deck, you are the emperor. And see, we have the empress there. So some of you, you will either be coming into your, your empress, your emperor mode all together if you're not looking for love, that powerful, that boss mode, you know, you'll be getting into, as well as some of you will be meeting your divine encounter. I mean, partner. You'll be encountering your divine partner. You know, if that's what you want, somebody who will build with you, you're on the same level, same mindset, no crab in a barrel mentality where you're, you're doing good and then people around you, even in your love life, they're jealous, they're insecure, they want to pull you down, tear you down because they don't want to see you prosper or be blessed. But it's all here. Blessings on top of blessings. You are blessed and highly favored, Scorpio. You are blessed and highly favored. So you don't have to be no more two of swords. You know, spirit is revealing everything to you. You know, some of you may need, have so many opportunities that you need to make a decision. This is your justice because some of you, the thoughts are coming in and it's like, it's just you deciding, okay, which one do I need to choose? What do I need to do? Because you know, this could be in love, the old coming back, the new, what do I do, spirit? But spirit is saying, look at the sword, the ace of sword. You already know the truth. Look at both situations. Look at both positions, whether it's a, you getting a new opportunity. You know, see which one is going to bring you that fulfillment where you can have that stability and still have time to spend with your family as well. Because some of you have been in the nine of swords, you know, up in your head, can't sleep at night, Scorpio. And that is why, you know, maybe it's because people were, you know, bringing things to you, the enemy trying to distract you, and the divine had to bring that tower in. Wow. I'm sorry, these cards fell, but the one that flipped up is the Ten of Swords. So this is also, this could be the end of you coming out of certain betrayals and, you know, just heartbreak and defeat. So it doesn't mean maybe some of you, you've gone through that in the past. Maybe some of you, you're going through it right now. And this is why Spirit had to bring in this tower. Because you are the queen of cups. You're very intuitive. You're loving, you're caring, but spirit wants you to listen to your intuition. So maybe all these people or places or things in your life were distracting in the past, bringing you all that fear and distress, you know, left you for dead. And spirit had to cause a tower for you to see who these people are. Because see, so many times at the back of the deck, it's the nine of ones. You're burdened, distressed, but you have a fresh start. You have a new beginning to step out, to now live your life. Don't get hung up on the past. All of us have a past. Yes, some are more horrific than others, but yet still, spirit can use that. Spirit can use that. See the three of cups. Um, I'm sorry, three of pentacles. Spirit can use this. What you have, what the enemy meant for evil. Spirit can use it. Co-create with you. Have you collaborate with other people. To bring about change in other people's life. So that you can be a blessing others as well so don't worry about 
you know, what people did to you in the past. Just know this is your justice. This is your karma. What the enemy meant for evil, the divine God is going to work it out for your good. And again, this is your justice right now. And you will be reaping your fear, desire, and they will be reaping what, what is theirs too. You know, this is the, the hangman, but it came out in the upright. So a lot of you, you're not even thinking anymore. You know, you're not even thinking and that fall upon the Ten of Swords. A lot of you, you're not even thinking about what people did to you anymore. You're letting go. You're no longer in deep thoughts. No, now you're freeing yourself and you're going after your blessings. You're stepping into your purpose because you know what does not kill you. Finish it, Scorpio. What does not kill you, what? Make you stronger. Oh, the card that came out, it says, don't take anything personally. Your truth is personal to you. So your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and personal to you. It is no one's truth but yours. So whatever happens in your life, Spirit is encouraging you today, don't take anything personal. You know, just have that, uh, like a Teflon coat. You know, yes, it may settle a little bit, but it will run off. Because if we allow everything that people say about us or do to us to, to penetrate us, we're going to walk around being a hot mess. And again, hurt people, hurt people. So your truth is personal to you. So they may say, oh, she thinks she's all that, or he thinks he's all that because he's making money now. He, you know, he's feeling himself. She's feeling herself. She thinks she's better than us. He thinks he's better than us. That's their truth. You know your truth. Don't take what they're saying personal. Spirit is just saying, focus on yourself. This is time for you to put yourself first now. You have been through enough to know that you are enough. That's a quote from me. You have been through enough to know that you are enough. And right now, this is why you're given a fresh start. As you close out this year, a lot of you, you're getting your gear in motion. You're, you're, you're changing your mindset. You know, we see the King of Swords here. You're thinking not with your heart, but with your head now. And you're removing, along with spirit, all the people, places, and things that are not good for you. You're standing up to challenges and obstacles in your life. People who don't mean you any good. And you know, Scorpio, sometimes people wonder, why is it that when people get to certain status or fame, that they move from their their community, their city, where they lived. And it's because, you know, sadly enough, they have to move away from people who want to create conflict, people who want to lend me a money, give me a money, people who may even try to come up against them to try to hurt them, to kill them, to rob them, to steal from them. And this is why they have to change their address. And so you need to not, because the truth is you cannot take everybody with you. You cannot. And people who are not on your level, a lot of times they will be jealous of you. They will be jealous. And so you just have to know that yes, you can love these people. If you have something, you send it to them, you give it to them, but you have to shift. You have to change the trajectory, the direction of your life. And don't allow what people are saying about you to, to, to penetrate you. Like the saying goes, it's not what they call you. It's what you answer to, right? So don't take it personal. You know the truth. You know you have a calling on your life. You know that many are called, but few are chosen. And you are one of the chosen. So you have to step out, come out from among them, 
be separated because you have work to do. You have a mission to fulfill. At the back of the deck, it says, replace fear with love. Replace fear with love. The human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you are impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer fertile ground for the words that come from fear. Your mind is only fertile for the words that come from love. So yes, you are healed, your love, you're moving on. You're no longer living in fear. Yes, you're careful, you're mindful of the people around you. But you know that God is for you. And who can be against you? Be impeccable with your word. The one at the back, it says, cultivate faith. To have great faith is to have great power. Because you're in, because your intent, your will is undivided. When your word isn't dissip dissipated by doubt, the power of your word becomes even stronger. So Spirit is encouraging you. And I made a video recently that says walk by faith. Walk by faith. Without faith, it is impossible to step into your purpose, to serve God, to serve the divine. You must have faith. So you need to cultivate, you see, planting a soil, planting in the soil, a seed, a faith, a faith. This is beautiful. Oh, Scorpio, thank you so much for watching. If you're still here with me to the end, please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you have not yet done so. And uh, until next time, please leave a comment. It would be nice to hear from you. Until next time, thank you.